ladies and gents, welcome back to Face TV, here for some Star Series action. I'm DDK, joined by Hoss. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, how's it going? Oh, not bad, I had a nice, nice sleep. <laughs> five or I six hours, and I'm ready to go again. Nice, nice. And um, we do have the uh, the final map, actually, between Na'Vi and Flipside. We played the first two maps yesterday, and then they were unable to complete the match. So we will go to Inferno now. It was a pretty even show between uh, Na'Vi and Flipside. I think Flipside did a lot better than a lot of people expected. And, uh, I mean, they've had a bit of a mental block against against Na'Vi in the past, so it was pretty cool to see that maybe they can do it, maybe they can actually yeah. take them down this time. Yeah, definitely so, and it's going to be a great way to conclude this on the Inferno. The previous maps, I believe, were Cobble and Mirage, yep, that's so correct. it's good to go on a classic map, one that should be a pretty even playing field for these two teams. Yeah, I mean, it's always uh, fun to watch Na'Vi on this one, because Inferno tends to, th it tends to look really embody, like really show that style that they're known to, yeah. to, to actually execute, which is that very, very slow style, and typically they have been actually move, uh, moving around a lot more recently. They've been changing up their play, mixing a lot of uh, you know more aggression in there, and just being a more rounded team. As as Flamey joined, they've they've yep. expanded um, the stuff that they do, and it's and generally I think they're more successful. But I think we are still going to see some of the classic classic Navi on a map like Inferno. Um, do you have any any predictions when it comes to this one? What do you feel like is going to happen here? I, I feel like Navi um, probably will take this one based on the experience they have as a team. Um, I was able to watch them at the uh, Pro League Finals a few weeks ago or a month or so ago. They looked really, really strong there. And having Starix as well as a coach is such a big help for them. Mm. It's actually quite interesting as well as on, on flip side's uh, side of things. Because as you say, like, uh, it's a lot more experience on Navi. And I think that's actually really going to play into this because uh, just to finish the point quickly as we go into the pistol, um, flip side have been fiddling with their format and their, their roles a lot recently. And so they are trying to find something that works. We have Word it who's returning as the... Oh, sorry, Simple that's returning as the dedicated author. So it's, if I'm not mistaken. And so it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. And already a few slight exchanges here up middle to begin things off with in the pistol rounds as uh, Navi do converge on Banana. Yeah, they're looking to gain some control of this top of Banana area. Markov spots one of them out. It's going to fall back straight away here, however. It's going to actually get pushed as well. Picks up one on Flamey. Edward is going to reply that Zeus going to be coming around with the flank onto World Edit. Spamming away with that Glock is able to get it while Seeds gets the bomb down. Very nice headshot from him onto Simple as well. We're four versus two. Blade and Bondic trying to retake this, forcing their way in here. Blade finally able to drop Zeus, but that's only the start of their problem. Just Blade left. Easy start of the round for Na'Vi there. Yeah, just nice, simple and good effective cleanup at the end for Na'Vi to pick up a fast... Good economy and flip sides not going to be investing fully, or are they going to do that f across the board here? Would like to see a little bit of money saved there. It will be actually, will be play, do say? no, they're actually going to go for the full investment. So just simple with a little bit of extra cash saving for the AWP, making sure you can get some armor with it when uh, they do go for the buy. But a few digs in play, and with a dig on simple, you never know what you're going to see. This guy is, I bring it up every time, like the best eagle player I think in the world at the moment. matches and well, it's going to be Na'Vi cleaning house at the moment. Yep, just forcing their way through up towards top of mid, getting some easy picks with the advantage they have in their weapons. Only one MP7, a little bit unusual to see. Usually you see straight up SMG buys, but they did risk it with these AKs. And there it is. When they do things like that, why not pick them up? It's just Mark Love left now. It's going to be a free bomb plant here for Guardian, which means another free $800 coming in for those guys. Yeah, Markov might be able to actually, if he's sneaky, really sneaky here, he could maybe pick up a weapon if he's able to isolate a player and get a fast headshot. Then it's just a question of surviving the, the ensuing onslaughts as they try to remove that weapon. So here it is. It could be Edward who might step into the library area and potentially donate his AK-47 if he's not too careful. We'll have to see. As, uh, in fact, he will back away to more known territory that's already been cleaned out. And uh, this is a classic thing as well on Inferno. You can... Go to the back corner of kit of uh, pit, sorry, if you're full on health and armor, and you can just actually survive the bomb plant and it's basically a spot for any ninjas as well. So uh, pretty safe, and Markov will save his CZ armor into the following round, as Na'Vi are having no issues so far cleaning up uh, after their effective pistol rounds, and it's just going to be one more full save for the flip side, and then we shall see their buy. Yeah, this really comes down to Markov now as well to get some damage done here. Simple has picked up the Deagle yeah. again. Bit of an interesting one there, obviously confident in his ability. <laughs> there you go. Guardian <laughs> is going to be reeling at that one. Good stuff, indeed. That's why, that's why, that's his why you pick is, it up. Yeah. 
Got a good reputation with this gun. Now, Flamey is going to try and challenge him. He's got one player to his left, one to his right. Blade is just going to poke his head out. Spots the Na'Vi player that has to fall back straight away. And Markov has been boosted here. Quite an interesting position to use with the CZ-75. Usually you'll have players streaming at you, so you should be able to get, get at least one or two frags, especially considering the angle is great for headshots. They are going to, however, volley off arch side, picking off Blade towards Quad. And this should open up this A-box with a lot of ease. And there it is. CZ Narma goes down as well on Markov. Three of the players here for uh, Navi are fairly wounded. Would be an easy finish for Flipside, Flipside's World Edit and Bondic if they're able to connect a few shots to Torso or a quick shot to the head of those USPs, but it's not to be there as Bondic will find the only healthy player in Flamey. And uh, all Navi here need to do now is just play together, move in for a bomb site, and it is the round over and done with, and any further risk should be avoided. However, World Edit is creeping forwards now through Archway. If we uh, check World Edit right now, we might be able to see if he can uh, pull up Frag and Wow, Flamey's getting quite low now as well. Very unfortunate for Flipside not to put, uh, put up any uh, extra damage there, but uh, that extra investment of the Deeg is, is actually going to work out for Simple. And he calculated his money quite correctly because now, of course, the trade-off was the Deeg for the armor in this round. That's what he's missing, of course, but uh, it's Simple. He doesn't need any yep. armor. Something to note as well at the end there. If World Edit had found any other player but Flamey, he would have probably got the frag. But it was just unfortunate that Flamey was the guy he peeked around to. He wasn't able to find it. It's going to be interesting to see how Simple uses this AWP being so exposed with no armor. Really, really passive at the moment, in fact. He's, he's just chilling in the library, just getting some reading done. Taking a cursory glance at the shelves and seeing what kind of literature is on offer at the moment. And, uh, well, it's going to be some action towards B. Of course, the bomb is still down, so they are just trying to force out some grenades and keep the pressure up. And maybe Seeds can get an entry. This is what he does for Na'Vi, pick up those entries. They do also have the Orb from Guardian looking for entries on the other side as well. There goes Seeds though, gets the quick pick onto World of by the Fountain. And they're just gonna keep pushing forwards. Seeds with a double, B bomb side, well and truly open. Just have to collect the bomb now and it should be easy enough to pick up this round. And that's exactly what you want from your entry frag is getting two very quick picks. Completely opening up this B bomb site. We do still have flip side very slow to rotate, however, considering the bomb still has yet to go down. They're just hold, uh, holding some players behind. Simple playing very passive in CT spawn. See what he can find. The answer is not a lot right now. He is able to get a tag onto Zeus, however. Zeus will try and challenge him, but probably won't find anything up until the flip side player tried to peek there, but wasn't able to get the connection. Uh, Simple's got to be careful, and Na'Vi are coming in for the kill right now. All just surrounding them in a huge CIS sandwich. As the remainder of Flipside falling to the, the assault of Na'Vi. And uh, that's a pretty brutal blow there, because they were not able to have... That, that was a kind of a, rid a ridiculous round, actually. It felt like Flipside basically did nothing. They just... Two players just died on B to his entry fragging. Very, very simply as well. And then they just... That was it. That was yeah, that was pretty yeah. much the round. I mean, it's kind of a weird one, to be honest. But we'll have to see if it's like can formulate a stronger defense and a more proactive series of plays in the next round. But this round is going to be simple as the eagle as he <laughs> burns in the flames. But he at least he'll take down Seas with him. Yeah, and if Seas can, of course, keep getting those entry frags on the flip side, not putting up any resistance at all, then this T side becomes incredibly easier for Na'Vi. This time, though, he has fallen. Eagle, and now Mark got one miss, its HP has to dodge the flames. Navi looking like they're preparing now, the smoke has gone in towards CT, there are two players on this B site however. Zeus playing super passive there at Sandbags, while the rest of his team fall back towards A. They've forced the rotation round, and this A site is very empty. Interesting. Um, <laughs> very, very interesting there. Nice choice. Or what is going on in the flip side camp over there? I think a little bit of a misunderstanding. <laughs> However, we ha are going to have Navi pushing up into the A bomb site now with uh, the bomb as well. So, soon to claim this round, our Navi. That's something quite drastic is going to happen, but I doubt that that will come to pass as 
Well, they are playing it slow and just spinning up two to a side at the moment are the uh, Na'Vi players. So opening themselves up a little bit to potential shenanigans. And there we are. Going to find some shenanigans indeed. Flamey will get the trade there. But Bondic could potentially get some damage done. Although the, the, the uh, smoke is providing excellent coverage. Now Bondic will give away his position. And that should be it here for Bondic. Pick up the kill. But in comes the remainder of Na'Vi. Oh my wow. goodness. Bondic finds another headshot somehow. Now McCrates are one on one has a weapon no kit though and that's the issue there it is edward is gonna finish them off there bondix though did brilliantly just to get those first two initial frags there drop the weapons from narvi it hasn't really hurt them too much however considering that they've won four or five in a row now and got bomb plants on i believe four out of five now so their economy is booming but getting those two extra frags will always help out in the long run should Flipside start to get some momentum going, start to get some rounds on the board. And this is where it begins. They've got these guns. Simple has the luxury of armor this time with the AWP. He's going to go for a quick pick for the second mid, but maybe he's just too quick for him. Well, it's definitely something that Na'Vi are going to be able to expect is some of the aggressions coming in from Simple. So a tentative approach at the beginning of the round as they try to play against any aggressions and indeed they are going to be coming here so simple might need to uh, change up his play a little bit going for those risks in spots where I guess I can't really afford to really be losing any more buy rounds so it would be uh, round number eight before they can get another one out if they are to lose this one it's all the pressure on the rest of Simple's teammates now who are left to try to defend these bomb sites as Na'Vi slowly expand into middle and slowly crawl their way towards A. Good position there for Bondic, but he is going to get caught with an aid in his hands and it will be Na'Vi with a free bomb site again. This is looking like a no contest here. Yep, just get those entry frags and flip side, they, they fall straight away. Losing Simple early on as well really, really hurt them there. Yep. They were then four versus five and seized. And Co just get those two entry frags and the remaining flip side players have to back away and save those guns. And not only is this a round win for Na'Vi, but again, it's a bomb plant. It's getting that extra cash all the time. And they're all going to be on five plus figures now. And flip side members may not even be able to save with the oncoming Na'Vi players. They're going to be checking every single angle. Well done, he might be able to get one here. And he will do, but now he's given away his position. He's going to chuck a flashbang out. Guardian missing that shot, however. Both these... CT player very, very low. Guardian finds that one. And the second. Easy pickings. Yeah, I mean, the, the symbol cannot give up a frag like that so early on in, in the round. And in fact, he's going to go with a straight up buy on the FAMAS, which is kind of a, an interesting choice here. They are all going to go for the buy instead of an extra eco, um, which would put them up to like $6,800 if they did a full save. They're just going to say, hey, let's just go for the buy. We have limited grenades. But you'd, you would expect that they would now need to go for an aggressive play. They need to find a way to taken advantage into this but they don't have an aggressive play towards banana no, no kind of trade situation they're just playing passively and just allowing navi to play their game and that's really the issue here so far is that they're just letting navi do whatever the hell that they they want to actually accomplish and that's what they're doing guardian ooh, getting the tag there onto simple simple playing with fire and uh, this time he is going to get burnt yeah the fact that flip side are putting up zero resistance just means that when Na'Vi commit to a site, they just look at all the standard places and are able to get the easy entry frags. Whereas if Flipside were actually able to play aggressive and sh put some pressure on the map, they'd restrict Na'Vi in their movement, maybe force some early flashes and smokes out so they have less when they actually make the move to the site. But Guardian, they're going to trade one for one here. As he's going all the way around, trying to get the pick onto the guy in apartments, but he's able to drop down simple as well on the site. Now he's all eyes on Bondic with C's flanking behind. The flip side player. And there it is. Maybe uh, bomb plant now for Na'Vi. As flip side scurry, scramble, trying to get the retake to happen. Now they are without a kit. This is the nature of the buy in this round. Flamey with the frag onto World Edit by Library, leaving Markov all alone. He's able to pick up an AK, but he doesn't like his chances anymore. Losing his comrade, no kit to speak of. So he's going to back away and save the AK 47. And his teammates are going to be on, again, terrible money. They've committed themselves now. They have, they pretty much have to buy in the next round. So they're going to have more or less the same buy. Markov could drop the uh, the AK, purchase the Famas, and have four nades for himself, which would help alleviate some of the woes. But generally speaking, it's a horrendous situation for Flipside. And once, once again, it's another round where they let Na'Vi play the round that they want to play. 
if they don't uh, really have any setups which prevent mid control or prevent banana control, or prevent apartments control, they allow that to be taken by Navi too easily, it would seem. Um, and uh, quick 7 0 is the result. Yeah, it is. And with this sole AK 47, Markov is the man that needs to try and get a few frags here. Relieve the pressure from his team with these mere P250s. Although simple, he does have a deagle, so he could certainly get something here. And I like this idea. Boosting Markov up here with that power means that this AK could really, really surprise the side of Na'Vi. And it seems to be that uh, Simple is just trying to go with the usual shenanigans, trying to see if he can get a quick angle on the deagle to get that headshot found. There will be a lot of damage there onto Guardian, but Zeus will pick up the kill on the crossfire, and it's going to be Markov who will actually take a frag there on, up on Quadroof. He's been spotted, but he's going to actually slow their roll, and there goes the flash out, will force them back, and Na'Vi will reclaim the bomb, and they are still a man up here, so still nothing to really complain about for them, and Flamey will pick up the frag onto Markov as he goes for the peak, and now the weapon is down. Flip side, not much left to really work with in this round. Flamey will slowly finish things off, slowly but surely. Uh, it's one one uh, thing we have to think about is is this role uh, switch between Simple and Wild. Of course, Simple is has the highest skill on the team overall across all the weapons, across pistols, across rifles, and the, the sniper rifles as well. And uh, you know, previously Wild it was like the primary AWPA. Now they've put it back onto Simple, as we can see. And uh, in s uh, spots like this, the risk taking um, is. The, like the heavy, heavy, aggressive risk taking, the kind of BW and Kineas kinds of plays that they're so good at and made their names on. That's not helpful in a spot like this. It's very gambly. So we are, at this round, at least, we are going to see Simple with a more a defensive approach. And that should help somewhat. Yeah, I completely agree with you on that one. I mean, I remember the first time I saw Wild at it, he didn't really amaze me. just the amazing place he made. He was very consistent mm. in his AWP style. And this could be what Flipside need in this position. As you said, eight rounds down, Na'Vi. You don't want to be taking too many gambles here. You want to just play super safe. As it looks like Na'Vi, they're going to commit to this B bomb site. There's only one Flipside player here. And as we just saw on the scoreboard, World Ed, it doesn't have any frags yet. That could be the message about his rifling skills rather than his AWP. And now he's on this B site. This is where he needs to make his name with this M4A1S in his hand. Make his impact known on this game. Flashes are going over. Smoke is towards CT. He's going to reposition. Not able to oh. get any easy headshot there for Zeus. Yeah, that is that is pretty brutal. Doesn't even, even get a single frag. Markov left with a massive task to accomplish. We'll pick up a quick double though, which will definitely help things ever so slightly and Flamey is not feeling comfortable to get this bomb down he needs to try to smoke off that position but instead he's going to throw it to CT pick up the kill and now the bomb can go down safely so interesting stuff for his Guardian is going to be working on the rest of Flipside as they rotate in and uh, Blade now pushing through construction able to take down Guardian finally still two players left here for Na'Vi and they have excellent positions they can play together and it's all against Bondic now he's running in towards this site though he is going to fire or throw some fire towards Dark, but Flamey is there. He's been on point that round, getting the picks that were needed. And this is the Na'Vi we all love. 9-0, complete control of this game. Indeed. It's uh, definitely an interesting start there for Flipside. Um, every time Flipside starts to play a slow round, Na'Vi just execute on B. And uh, when, when they're not playing a slow round towards B, it's going to be a situation where we see Simple taking the r these risks on the other side of the map, but Na'Vi seem to always expect them. And Guardian almost getting that shot. Just, I think, a slight uh, executional error that's quite rare that will allow Simple to escape with his life. Because Guardian, Guardian had the angle there. He had the shot ahead of Simple. Simple will fall back. How do you so I deal with this situation? We're going to have some Flash is going into his direction, but he will take down the frag onto the world at it. And again, flip side with early uh, early deaths here on their CT side. Yeah, Markov is going to challenge RV play. Is able to drop seized here. The rest of the team are over towards the A bomb site. They almost forced rotation around from Simple there. But he is still back over on towards that A site. So two versus one. If they get this pick on the B bomb site, then it does indeed open it up. 
It looks like Na'Vi, they're going to throw everything over towards that side of the map. It'll be down to Flamey to pick up the bomb. And then they start to throw what nades they have left over the top. The simple will be trying to defend the front of the CT. Markov, and he picks up one killer. A few shots to go into Flamey, but he will stand. It's going to be a simple jumping through onto Paul. God, he misses that shot again, but he won't miss the second time. Simple is going to fall. And now Na'Vi has a significant advantage on the hold of the bomb site as the rotation comes in for the retake. Bondic and Blade looking to see what they can get done. Blade uh, clutching for his life yesterday to keep Flipside in the match with some amazing play on Mirage. But it's going to have to be Blade now with this Vamas against three players of Na'Vi. Don't like his odds at the moment. We'll pick up the first kill. But he does get traded on by Guardian. Bondic. It's too laboured a task. The bomb is going to explode. At least maybe Bondic can take some players with him. But it's going to be another round for Na'Vi. It will, and that's now 10 in a row for Na'Vi. I'll have to see if uh, Flipside can switch something up here. And it's that definitely that early aggression here, like in, in very in spots. I mean, we haven't really seen, I think, a, a properly standard round from Flipside. It feels like they are too much at the mercy of Na'Vi and not really playing their game on CT side, just playing, playing incredibly reactively. And uh, it is something that when you're playing as Na'Vi, it can be hard to be too proactive because they can play such a diverse, uh, a diverse amount of pa paces. So you don't want to get caught off guard by that. But at least in this round, we're going to see Bondic picking up an early frag. Yeah, Blade's now trying to come onto the scoreboard as well. Put Edward down to a mere 8 HP, but it's unlucky that there were two players there as well. So he did indeed fall. Guardian now peeking up towards mid again. That's another easy pick for him onto Bondic this time. And that's the A-bomb site completely open. The remaining two flip side players are the ones over on the B side. Well dead it. And Markolov, the remaining two. Guardian should get this frag onto Markolov with relative ease. Much like the rest, but it will in fact be his use. Leaving well dead it all by himself over on the B-bomb site. He could save this Deagle if he wants to. Wouldn't be the worst idea. He's got really got nothing to gain and nothing to lose. Yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting to see if uh, Flipside can somehow scrap some rounds together in this uh, CT half. I mean, of course, it is always possible to throw this kind of situation back onto your opponents, although the way in which Na'Vi have been winning rounds is not kind of the way that... Because you, you can have dominant T halves where it's about the economy, it's about the CTs being unable to have enough money for incendiaries and smokes to have proper delays and stuff. But we're not even seeing a lot of smoke play from Flipside anywhere almost. It's, it's kind of a, a really weird affair that, that uh, we're seeing from them because they've been playing so many rounds on low money and some of the rounds where they had money, then we have like Simple taking a risk and uh, losing out, not hitting any shots. He's on three kills at the moment. What is funny, he said, hey, enough is enough. I got, I picked up one frag in the game, he's on zero, of course, because he actually made a team yeah. I think. And he's got the AWP as well. So maybe this can change things for them, but it feels like a desperation option here. Yeah, in fact, World Edit, he is, I believe, over towards that B-bomb site. Playing from CT rather than on site or coils. Markolov has been the player to play from coils in the past. We're a simple playing, very passive considering what we've seen from him before. Blade, it will lose to Guardian, and again, that's a really tough spot when you're up against Rifle. Guardian gets the second shot, Simple trying to respond, but he just finds himself at the mercy of the AWP of Guardian, the almighty legendary opera of Anavi. And Zeus will clean up the pit, and that's going to be a, a free plant here. Well, not quite free, but free enough. Four versus two, bomb down, and flip side, a left forward, a little mark off on B with nothing that they can do. A hopeless scenario in which all the all they can really do is just save and just uh, just lament the past 11 rounds. Just dream they can actually keep these weapons because much like we've seen in the past Na'Vi they're going to come and they're going to hunt down these two flip side players. C's checking all the angles. You could see Wild Eddie get his first frag. It, it really does feel like we're not seeing any smokes. Yeah we're, we're seeing side. nothing. Are they really not smoking at all? <laughs> in a lot of these rounds because Na'Vi are taking so much free like kind of angels and picks up mid, up mid and that that should always be really difficult or risky for the T's you should have to 
try to make that safe with with flashes and smokes and and very stellar play of your own to actually make that work. That's one of the reasons why a CT sided when the CT side has a lot of grenades. Because grenades are so make it so efficient for the CTs. Well, we've got the three man set up on towards uh, banana at the moment. They're going to go for hopefully the uh, deep banana play. There's double incendiary, double nades. Uh, we'll see. And this this is so strong on uh, on Inferno, and he can do it so safely the majority of the time. Here we go, we're going to get out of it, moving in with the Famas, and the spray down is going to happen. Lots of trades coming in, but unfortunately for Flipside, they're not able to actually execute it, and they will come out the, uh, at, at the disadvantage. Now imagine if they put this pressure on earlier on in the match, where, say, they were five, six rounds down. They put this pressure on. It could have potentially slowed Na'Vi down in later rounds, because they could have been a little bit scared of Flipside going that aggressive again, putting so many resources in. We saw them double Molotov. If anything, that would have just slowed Na'Vi's approach down, given Flipside a little bit more time to work with her. So now it's all about that retake yet again. They're going to have to save these weapons. Yeah, the, uh, the banana plays can be so strong if you have a good rehearsal on it. If it's very ex executed very well, it should be always be very favorable for the CTs. Of course, it's very expensive, but once you have that banana control, you can afford to have less grenades on A, but an extra player most of the time, um, depending on how you read the situation. But you should be able to most of the time have an extra player, because it's rare that the T's will go for the flash through. And if, if they do, uh, through the smoke, then you can get a lot of kills, or you know, if the smoke's going away and you don't have any more, you can get the call and you can rotate your teammates back towards B in time. So that's kind of the strength of it. So 13 to 0 and flip side really are at a massive danger of actually getting 16 0 at this point. I, w I would never, I don't think I've ever seen flip side. No, at this level. Yeah. I think close, but. He wants, but uh, the way that this is going right now is so excited. It's so easy for Na'Vi. It's not as if they're doing anything special. It's just flip side. They're not putting up any resistance. They've only just started showing aggression. And it's just been so easy for Na'Vi to get these picks. And that's going to be a trade frag 2 for one in favor of Na'Vi. They got 3 for 1. Flip side, their aim has just been completely off this game. It could be one of the reasons why we haven't seen it so much is that they don't feel confident on how to team play and execute it yeah. together. That could be one of the reasons that they haven't been doing it, because now we're seeing it, it does look a little bit, um, they don't have a, a, a tight rehearsal on it. Now, either way, we're going to see another round here for Na'Vi as they go four against one, and again, Flipside coming out with a pretty poor round. I, I, you have to wonder at this point if what is going on in Flipside's, uh, in the, in their kind of, uh, in the team at the moment. Is it, is it just, they're just not hitting their shots? Is there some communication issues? You know, what is what is actually happening at the moment? Because it's not like we know that they're much better than this. Yeah, even just if they would fall back onto individual skill, we know they're better than this. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, definitely a surprising result, especially after yesterday. They had a fantastic showing on the first couple maps, uh, much better than I would have thought on Cobblestone and uh, and on Mirage, uh, Navi's best map. They were able to actually beat them there with amazing play, um, individual play and team play. So. It seems like it's crumbling here on Inferno. It's a new day, but for there to be this this huge of a disparity between what we saw yesterday and today is certainly something of concern. Yep, as we now move on to the last round of the half, and flip side, they're putting together that buy with Bondic on the Mag 7. Everyone else at least has a rifle, but again, not oh many no. grenades to work with. We're, guessing we're seeing a Negev. We saw it. We're seeing two Negevs and M M249. The M249s, oh my god. No, This is like the worst gun ever. <laughs> Oh my god, they're actually doing it. Just, they're going full troll mode. We saw an egg earlier in Oceana, but they didn't get to use it in the last round. Oh my god, I've never seen this actually at this level of play. Like, just full, the full on troll coming out at the last round. This is Navi really trying to rub it into flip side at the moment. I was going to say, is there anything worse, but I don't think there is. Yeah, this, this is the this is the troll move. This this is the, the stat we're, track we're laughing as well. at you right now. That's the actually a pretty nice track. one. Man of War. Nice. Okay, they're gonna go for an execute into B. They're probably all gonna hold down last one. And if Flipside lose this round, they're gonna be pretty salty. I mean, the fact that Zeus just hasn't hauled as well. Oh my god, here we go. I, I don't think that's much to say. It's not the special to do. I think we just watch it let it happen. Here we go. Oh, we need to game with all the, the machine guns. Blade Famas! Oh no, they're getting completely wrecked! 
Oh, they actually cl it's only clean round for them, but it took buying up four negas, well, two negas, two M two four nines, and Zeus on the orb, and Zeus on the orb, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, fourteen yeah. to one. So at least Navi won't, I guess, for the sake of flips, like get the fifteen zero on the first half. But still, this is. Just look at those string of key rounds. It's kind of disgusting. It's certainly something. 14 in a row. As they're now on their CT side. Let's just see whether Na'Vi just pull the win out straight away or whether flip side will actually show us that they can T side on Inferno. Whether they show us some strength coming from their side. It's going to be two players towards B for Na'Vi. Pushing rather aggressive. Zeus just running straight down middle here. Oh, he's going to find a quick headshot blade. He's going to hit the floor there as uh, Na'Vi had an aggressive start to this round. And again, they're taking no prisoners. No nonsense pushes all over the place. And they have the bomb under control. This four against Markov. This is a complete shutout. Again, Markov needs to get a huge clutch. He will not. 15 to 1. This is a very fast map. <laughs> very, very fast map. And again, this is for the, the best of three series, guys, because uh, this was uh, map three. It was delayed from yesterday to be played today. And, well, they aren't messing around. It's almost over. Yeah. Again, Na'Vi going to go for a very strange buy. They've got auto shotguns. The XM-10-14. Oh no, XM the flip side are slowly making their way up. Banana at the moment. So they don't have any grenades apart from one smoke from Bondic. And, um, well, if they're looking for the banana play, smoke on CT spawn, uh, for CT spawn could be very helpful indeed. But now we have a, a pretty decent defense that's a little bit forward, so, and an extra player that's rotating around now. So they should be actually geared up very well to defend against any B rushes. Yeah, certainly. So they have one player up close and personal playing from Sandbags. Blade is going to drop the bomb off. See, he's just baiting here for Flamey to his left with that P90. Again, he can just hold down mouse button one and probably get one or two frags there. Whereas the rest of Flipside now only just moving up towards A. They find one frag. Zeus trying to get this one, gets that as well. There's one player left now, Ghana. However, Willful Flamey just going to walk straight past Bondic. Dispatch of him. Well, then it's simple. And there it is, GG, 16 to 1. Na'Vi are going to win the best of three series against Flipside um, in their Star Series 13 group. So, rather ridiculous map, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah. no, it's a no show pretty much from uh, from Flipside. And unfortunately for them, well, they, well, well okay, I guess fortunately <laughs> for them, they could have a redeeming moment because we're going to yeah. go, the next match will be a best of three for the Face It League qualifiers. It is actually a round of, uh, round of four match. So, very important match, and it's going to be against LGB, which is a very, very good team. They've got Mystic in for Rain, as yep. Rain got uh, poached by Kingwin. <laughs> so, what yeah. kind of expectations ca could we have? You'd like to think that Flipside are just going to go onto their team speak and have a very good chat, a very quick chat um, about what, what happened that game and see if they can rectify it. Okay, guys, we'll take a very quick break whilst we. Uh, well, it might be actually uh, some, maybe, I'm not sure what time it is. How much of a break is this pretty series? Yeah. So 15 minutes, as that was a very fast match. And then we'll have LGB and Flipside for you for a round of four game for the Face It European League qualifiers. We'll see you for that.